Hello, my name is Vuisa Maswana, and I'm a solutions architect here in the Middle East and Africa, based out of Cape Town in South Africa. In this session, we are going to explore the resources needed in order to address a security event and consider automated ways in which we can respond. I'm gonna walk you through using a risk-based approach in help to prepare against threats. Finally, I will show you some tools that you can have in your security arsenal that will help you detect and deal with security threats. Let's dive right into the content. I'll walk you through an example of using a, a run book that is created based from security assessment. And then lastly, I will show you how to convert this run book into an automated response. Now imagine it's a Monday morning, you are walking into your office, you have your coffee in your hand, you are about to sit in your desk, and then you open up your email and you receive an email that's notifying you that one of your EC2 instances has been compromised and that you need to action, you need to take action to rectify the situation. Depending on your level of preparedness, there could are various ways in which you can respond to this situation. In the case of an unprepared customer, the customer would be receiving the email, notifying them about the breach. This would be the first time that they are becoming aware of the situation. They could also be getting a call from their customer telling them that the site is down. In other cases, they would be getting a ransomware notification on their screens demanding ransom in order for the control of their resources to be handed back to them. Some customers even have guard duty turned on, but guard duty is not notifying anyone about events. In a case of somewhat prepared customer, they have a SIM and the notifications about the security event are going there. This customer has gone one step further than an unprepared customer. They have guard duty turned on and they have their notifications feeding into the SIM. This would in turn notify the security teams that something has happened and that they should go and investigate. In the case of a prepared customer, this is a customer that has reached a much higher level of maturity. This is a customer that understands what normal and abnormal activity looks like for various roles in their organization. This is a customer that knows how the network traffic flow goes. They understand what application calls are being made to such an extent that when an incident happened, they already know how to respond to it programmatically. In a case of a prepared customers, they don't want to be responding to known incidents manually. They have already written an automated response to this. When they walk into the office, they will get a notification that an event has occurred and that this is how this event has been responded to they would know of a location where to go and get more data in case they need to further investigate this issue. This is not absolute, this is a gradient. So as a customer, you can be anywhere in between. As we start to respond to customer security events, when we get on site, we have seen some disturbing trends. When we go on site and we ask customers, where is the run book that we can use to respond to the event? We get asked questions like, what is a run book? Some customers would tell us, but we encrypt everything. The reality is that encrypting everything does not mitigate against a security event. Some customers would even tell us, um, incident response is only run by the security team the security team would tell us, but we don't know what the application is doing. 
in this case, we often ask ourselves, how can we assist these security teams to expand their reach such that security is the responsibility of all teams, not just the responsibility of the security team? In some cases, we get told, this account belongs to Shadow IT. In such cases, Shadow IT exists because the security teams are known to be having a culture of always saying no to everything, which can slow down development and therefore a creation of a parallel structure, the Shadow IT. We are here today to advise you that as a security team, you need to work with other teams to avoid these. We know that security events can occur in any environment. Implementing a security program at large scale takes thought, measurement, and action. Therefore, governance, compliance, and layered defenses are just some of the ways in which you can achieve this. But important to remember is that the security team should not be the last line and the first line of defense. Security should be the responsibility of all teams. It is no longer sufficient to leave security to only the security specialist. Therefore, we need to put in place measures that can help to address events and these could be in a form of a runbook. A runbook is a technical review of a situation. It describes the situation that may occur. It provides steps on how to correct the situation or steps that would leave or lead to a desired outcome. It provides a contact list of all the stakeholders that should be involved in the resolution of the event. Grand books should be precise and concise, and they are there to give confidence and guidance in a situation that would otherwise be chaotic. Run books are measured across many dimensions. And this is an example of a run book that we can use for our example. We can describe the, the instance to get the instance metadata and get more information about the instance. And then we can start the isolation of that instance by locking down the security groups, locking down the network access control list and removing it from the network load balancers. As a best practice, EC2 instances should be behind an auto scaling group. The auto scaling group comes with um, self healing capabilities that would launch a new instances whilst this isolated instances is unavailable. This would allow for the business to continue its operations. We can then go back and snapshot that instance, take an inventory of the credentials, rotate the credentials to get new credentials, and then extract all that credentials information. Important to note is that all of this from step one to step six can be done automatically using Amazon Guard Duty, CloudWatch Events, and Lambda. Runbooks should be done based on risk assessment. A risk is defined as impact multiplied by the likelihood. Where the impact define how bad things can get, and the likelihood defines the frequency and the rate at which the impact may occur. Once you've measured that risk, you can then group the risk and categorize it from maximum risk all the way to low risk. This would help to define a common language that you can use as a security team when you need to engage with other business units within your organization. Having a standardized language would help to address um, issues of security where other teams may not have security specialists in their teams. Using this common language, you would immediately get the attention of the other teams. AWS has the broadest and the widest 
security tools. We start from the identity services, which are the foundation services, and then have the protection services, which would protect the infrastructure and also protect the data. We also have the detective services, which will continuously detect issues on your AWS environment. And lastly, we have the incident response services, which would help with incident response and recovery, which is the topic of what we are discussing today. When you are on the AWS cloud, one of the security tools that you can use to detect against threats and events is AWS Security Hub. AWS Security Hub comes out of the box with CIS Foundations Benchmark. The CIS Foundations Benchmark gives prescriptive guidance on how security on configuration on AWS should be done. It was developed by the Center for Information and Security. Security Hub comes with pre-built insights. But the most important feature of Security Hub is that you as a customer can build your own insights. As we know that the likelihood and the risk factor differs from customer to customer. Therefore, we cannot just take a product off the shelf and apply it generically across all customers. The findings are displayed on the main dashboard of our Security Hub for ease of access. And also the best practices are displayed on the dashboard, which would help to mitigate against these known issues. When you start the process of brand book creation, we can start by focusing on the areas that we know. We know when an infrastructure issue has occurred, how it is going to look like. For example, we know when an EBS volume is lost, how that is going to impact us and how it looks like. We know when we no longer can access an S3 bucket, how that is going to look like. And we know when our application has application code issues, how that is going to look like. Therefore, we can start this runbook creation process generically looking at these three broad domains. This would help us to give direction. And there is also the other domains to consider, such as people, which we should take into consideration when we are writing the runbooks. You start the runbook with a plan. You plan by writing a runbook for each of the three domains. The security team would help them when they write this to involve other teams. Other teams like HR, legal, and the developers. These other teams have areas that are common and that they know, which they would help to bring to the attention of the security team. Once the plans are written, it would help to test these plans. The security team can lead in the simulation of events. Important to note that the security team should not talk down to other teams during this process, so as to encourage the participation. Once the plans have been tested, then they can start the process of iterating these plans to keep with the changes that are happening within the organization. Run books should not be static. They should be iterated and be and improved upon to reflect the changing needs of the organization. A run book should be turned into an automated response. Run books should not just be a bunch of documents or written and printed out and, and stored in a filing cabinet. They should be turned into an automated response. This is an example of how an, an automated response can look like. You can think of the services on the left as sensors. They are continuously monitoring your AWS environment and collecting information about what is happening. You can think of AWS CloudTrail would be collecting all the API calls that are happening in the environment. 
to VPS flow logs, which would monitor the network traffic that is going to and out of the network interfaces and all the way down to guard duty, which would monitor unusual API calls and monitor unauthorized access. All of these services would collect this information and feed it into the central location, Amazon CloudWatch. You can think of Amazon CloudWatch as the brains of this operation. It will be the one that will be making decisions and taking actions. In this example, CloudWatch would call up a step function, a step function which will trigger a Lambda function. The Lambda function would notify the team that a security incident has occurred. Another Lambda function would call API calls. These API calls would be the ones that will be used in the process of recovery and the restoration of our EC2 instance. Important to note here is that communication is one of the actions that is taken. Runbook is about the communication of actions that we need to take in the event that there is a security event. It is there to help the teams and guide them on what actions need to happen and who does what and when. How do you get started? You get started by understanding the risk in your own environment. You can categorize them from maximum risk to minimum risk or low risk. Then you create a plan, a plan that is simple, straightforward to understand, that would help to mitigate against the maximum risk. Once you have this plan, this plan should be turned into an automated response. Important to remember is that AWS is here to help you. Should you feel the need for assistance, please log a support case and then we will assist you. When you are converting the run book into an automated response, this should be done safely. You can use the following best practices by ensuring that you leverage humans for the decision making. You turn the run book into an automated response. All the actions that are done by the services should be logged and you need to make sure that these are backed up and are protected against accidental deletion. And also as a last thing, they should be stored in their original form so that no one can question the authenticity. This brings us to the end of our session. Security incidents or security events provides an opportunity for security teams to earn trust with their stakeholders and their customers. I thank you.